The Yukon Huskies are back home here at Gamble Pavilion, where tonight they welcome in Northeastern and all the action coming your way right here on SNY. The home white, Northeastern in their visiting black uniforms trimmed in red. And here we go from Gamble Pavilion and Amita Brima controls the tap, getting it back to the freshman. Athletic Association this year, there's Brima missing, but running down his own rebound. Right to the 10, strong move by Jalen Adams, getting the bucket and the foul to put UConn on the scoreboard. Five, but it's Gresham. And now Osius. And there's Brima swatting it away, his second rejection early on. Very aggressive early defensively, but again, Northeastern breaking the seal from the perimeter. First Angeles. Enoch trying to go to work. Stays with it. A third time, and the third time is the charm. Pointed out to us that UConn, last time they began a season at Des Brima, gets another big block inside. That's his third of the game, and it's going to be a held ball with the possession arrow staying with Northeastern. Uh, Northeastern has opened a double-digit lead. Vance Jackson, and that's what he does. Vance Jackson, a pure shooter, the freshman out of Southern California. Well, that's inserted in the starting lineup time. This is why, because he gives him another threat from the outside. He's a forward that can do a lot of different things, but to Connecticut. Well, they lost their top three scorers from a season ago. Murphy has it rejected by Brima. Another block for... Amita Brahmi, he's much more active tonight than what we saw on Friday. Well, Wagner took the ball right at him early and often, and he got caved in, right? Shot clock at six. Gilbert can't knock it down, but there's an offensive rebound. Vance Jackson reversing under it. A beautiful move by the freshman, Vance Jackson. And Begley glides in and can't get it to go. And here comes Connecticut. They look to run Jalen Adams right down the lane and lays it in, Jalen Adams. And here come the Connecticut Huskies once again. Adams wide open on the left side. Drains the three to tie this game at 15 apiece. Let's check the drive of the game. It's presented by Chevrolet. Well, Jalen Adams, we said he is the guy that can make things happen. In a Northeastern and the Northeastern Huskies open the lead back to four. Adams right back the other way, creating for himself. And Rodney Purvis. There's a sweet jumper by Rodney Purvis right on cue. Now with the shot clock down to six, attacking the 10, and he lays it in. Altari Gilbert so quick off the bounce. Well, Connecticut wants to play a, more of a four-out game this year where they don't run a lot of set plays, but they'll run dribble handoffs, little ball screen. Why aren't you up on him? You've got to force Gresham to put the ball on the floor. Back the other way, Terry Larrier the step back. Good ball pressure on the perimeter, and then they're going to sag off the ball. Good extra pass, Larrier gets the bucket, and the foul as he's hammered by Anthony Green. Well, they spot it, and they also move the ball very quickly from one side to the other. Murphy stays with it, and then he's blocked by Larrier, and a run out. Here comes Rodney Purvis attacking the rim, and Rodney Purvis here in the first half at Gamble Pavilion on the campus of the University of Connecticut. Larrier, step back. Boy, that is really smooth right there. Well, that's not on the ropes with his talented team. Jalen Adams all the way to the 10, attacking. Adams attacking all the way to the goal. By to shoot two. Well, Jalen Adams can pretty much do this anytime he wants. I mean, he can get anywhere he wants to go with the basketball. I think really, really their problem is trying to figure out whose turn is it to go. Game tied at 36. Purvis step back as the shot clock is winding down. Big shot by Rodney Purvis. Adams thought about it, then gives it to Larrier, putting it up for Amita Brima, and the big man slams it down. First bucket of the game for Amita Brima. Williams, the Euro step, and there's Brima, another rejection, his fifth of the game. Here in the second half. Well, he just blended in with the floor on Friday night against Wagner. You didn't even know he was out there. No presence on either end of the floor, but tonight he came ready to go. A lot of fire in his eyes, blocking shots, really Bailing out the UConn guards early in the game with finding Begley in the corner. First bucket of the game for Begley. There goes Terry Larrier off the feed from Altari Gilbert. They were on the same page. You can see this in the past. This is a set play against the zone. You see Brima, an unsung hero on that play, setting that back screen against the back of the zone. 
That fall. rhythm in this game defensively, but they can't get anything going on going down this end of the floor. Inside, can't get it to go. Quick hands by Gilbert. Dipping under and off the window and in. With 11 minutes and 30 seconds to go here in the second half. There's Larrier. Great body control. Double clutching, and he scores for their last four. Vance Jackson, he's a shooter, and that's what he does well as he steps behind the three-point line and knocks it down. Shot clock now at six. Jalen Adams trying to do it himself, and he does do it himself. Picks up the loose ball. This on the floor for Connecticut as they trail it by seven with three and a half minutes to go here in the game. Larrier flashing across the foul line. They find him. He knocks down the 14-foot jump shot to cut, giving it up for Larrier. Purvis. To Gilbert, big shot by Altariq Gilbert. Larrier flashing, foul line, putting it on the deck. Boy, that's a tough shot right there from Terry Larrier.